Hi everyone, Crafty Nanny Cola here. And today, as you can see, I'm just finishing up uh, my EV outfit for my Etsy shop. And uh, the only thing that I have left to do is make the ears. And so I'm gonna show you today how to make these ears. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And you can make these cute little EV ears for yourself, your daughter, your son, whoever would love them. Okay, what you'll need to make the EV ears is a glue gun, probably an extra glue stick. You will need some uh, clips, which you get at Dollar Tree, and approximately four, and that'll when you're uh, gluing the ears together. Uh, I use uh, these clips, which I got on Amazon, for uh, marking where I'm going to put my ears. Uh, preferably some uh, finger savers. You will need if you're going to cover your hair band, you need to have the uh, patterns for the hair band, and uh, I'll put that in the link. And then you will need the pattern for to cut the cardboard, that's the small one, and to cut the felt, that's the large one. So you will need tan felt, and I've already cut the cardboards, so you want corrugated cardboard and you want to try to get the same thickness, so use the same box if you can. A hair band, and this is a one inch, and I'm just using a black because I'm going to cover it, hopefully. I really don't like covering them very much, so um, I am going to try it again and see. And then you will cut uh, four of the large pattern here, and um, I've already put one of them together. So we will be doing this and we will be putting uh, the other ones together. And um, so now we're going to do the uh, sewing of the, uh, which I've cut out here, the sewing of the uh, hairband cover. Okay, before you actually start the ears, if you want to cover your um, headband, you can go ahead and uh, cut uh, make yourself a pattern first of all. This this part is made out of cardstock, and you will need a longer uh, piece, like you can get in a package at Dollar Tree. So it needs to be like 15 inches, because this I actually did this on the crossways, and this is approximately uh, one and seven eighths wide, and it is um, 15 and a quarter um, long. And then another piece that is um, 14 and a quarter and uh, approximately one and an eighth um, wide. And uh, so you will cut your fabric two pieces and right sides together with felt. You don't have to worry about it, which is what I'm using on here because all sides are right side. And so cut out two pieces around the orange uh, piece that I have here and then take your smaller one and you want to take uh, either chalk, erasable pen, or whatever you have, and go around it, leaving an opening about two inches. And uh, just sew around that and make sure that you backstitch on the opening so it stays there. And then from there, uh, you will uh, turn it right side out. So if you don't like to sew or you don't sew, just uh, look on YouTube and you can find uh, coverings for uh, glue on. So uh, the easiest way to put it in is just, like I said, take this and just work your hair band around it. Doesn't matter how you go in, you can adjust it once you get in. So put it in like that and then just work it around your hair band. That way you don't have to leave. I could have even had a smaller opening doing it this way. So just work your uh, fabric, whatever it is, uh, silky fabric obviously is going to go on there a little bit smoother but you can cover it with anything but just remember uh, it's probably best not to cover it with like a sequin type or anything like that because it's not going to be very comfortable on someone's uh, head and another suggestion is always keep a, a waste basket uh, next to your workspace so that you will be able to uh, get rid of all the little boo-boos that are all the little threads and stuff that are all over the place and then you're just going to uh, adjust it until you uh, get it nice. 
so you want the seam to go in the front and the back. So you want the opening in the back. And that's where you're going to sew. So get that nice and straight. This did fit really well. It took me a little bit to get the pattern right. I, I got the pattern off of someone, but it uh, the pattern did not have the larger. Uh, it just has the pattern that actually fits this. Now, you can uh, get patterns, lots of patterns on there that are um, that you can glue to. I'm just not a very good gluer, so um, I don't glue a lot of stuff. But you, you could glue this too, if you'd want to. If you want to glue it down, you can just uh, put it together. So you want to put that in there and then get your other one so that it fits together well. So when you're sewing it, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and put your knot in here so you can't see it, so hide it underneath there. And then when you go to sew it together, hopefully you can see this good, um, you just want to get a hold of the pieces inside. You don't want it, you don't want to overcast it because then you'll be able to see it. So just, uh, it's called like a, a blind blanket stitch, uh, line stitch in there so you're just kind of going inside there and then I always find always keep um, little needle nose pliers because that's excellent for getting your thread through and uh, get you know finding all of that uh, little stuff in there so just uh, go ahead and finish that going back and forth couple stitches make sure you're getting them in don't don't come out of the uh, don't come out so that you can see the stitching uh, you could you could easily glue this if you're a good gluer I would just suggest gluing it I am a better seamstress than I am gluer so I just uh, sew stuff together it's easier for me once you get the glue on them, you can always take the thread out, but you can't take the glue out. Uh, yeah, I know you can heat the glue and go ahead and take it, uh, you know, uh, and get it down, but it's still going to show. So I, uh, I have enough trouble hiding glue everywhere. So um, the other uh, thing, and I will have that I think I forgot when I was telling you what you need, you will need uh, some kind of uh, furry stuff. I prefer this and um, I, it will all be in the section there and it will be, uh, you will see it in the beginning. It's called, uh, it's Lion Brand, I believe, yes, Lion Brand and it's Gopher Fox Thick and Quick. And um, there is one that is not thick and quick that I accidentally sent for uh, that Walmart had, three of them for a really good price and I found out why. It was because it was way too thin for what I need. So I have used this, I have made with this, uh, it was like $7.19 on Amazon, and I have made, I believe, three, four. I actually made four EV outfits, and that includes um, the, uh, I use them on the vests. I use them on the vests all around. Of this and I also used it on I made a Christmas one and uh, I sewed this all the way and all the way in the back and I made a Christmas one and I actually sewed the Christmas vest all the way around including the uh, um, including the skirt where I added all the way to the bottom of the skirt and these skirts are really really wide around I don't know how many yards but this has, uh, let me see if it says how many yards. It's always falling off. Uh, probably says, but it's so small I can't I can't see it. But um, I will check, and I will I will when I get a magnifying glass and check that. So we'll finish up this. And like I said, I'll put the patterns inside of the description. Uh, hopefully I can do a PDF. I believe I did do a PDF for uh, these on my other uh, mini one that I did. So um, I think I already have those on my computer. 
So just uh, finish off your hair band, get everything nice and straight and uh, try to go in uh, again to the end and just kind of go through there a couple of times. And just use what thread you have left on there and just keep on going. And then if you want, you can put a dab of glue or whatever in there and uh, you know, to keep that thread in, but I, I, I think it'll stay in anyway. So just try to come back out through the seam as close as you can, and then just uh, cut your thread. Okay. There's the hairband, and that'll be nice and soft on someone's head. So it started out like this, and now that's what it is, and there's the back. It's not the best, but you won't notice it very much by the time you get the ears and everything on there. Okay, so um, I will go ahead and show you one of the ears. So again, we're going to, I like to take the glue gun. I did have the longer one. I do have a longer one because this particular glue gun has several tips on it. But I like to start, first I want to put my, my uh, fingertips on because I do burn myself and I'm getting real tired of getting burned. This one, this one ripped a little bit. I saw some on Amazon. They were more expensive, but I might get them. They look like they're longer and might be easier, maybe not, because they are kind of annoying while you're trying to do this. And I want to get that out of the way too. Okay, I like to go across it a little bit and then I like to take the end and kind of flatten it out a little bit so you don't get that uh, glue, globs of glue that make it all thick. And then you can start on either side and just do little bits at a time. And again, just kind of, uh, just kind of take it and uh, take the glue and smooth it out. And then just do this. And then just finish it up. On this side and then go to the other side. And then we'll come back to all those little things there. finish off that and I got these um, silicone mats uh, on Amazon too and I'll put the link for those I already have the link in the mini one but I will put the link on there and then just put a little bit of glue right here and go ahead and turn that over so it matches into a little thing it, it kind of gets gets it out of the way and makes it a little bit easier and then look at your front, it looks pretty straight. And then you can just put a little tiny bit of glue on anything that's sticking up like that. There you go. So next, after you get them all uh, done, you will need a little bit of stuffing. That's what the stuffing is for. And uh, you just wanna stuff the ears, just lightly, you don't need a lot of stuffing. You've got a front and a back, so you don't need to do a lot of lot of stuffing on it. Just so they look a little bit puffy. And just get enough down there so that when you, uh, when you go ahead and you get them, uh, you know, so you don't want this little gap here. So just kind of bend them over a little bit and you'll be able to see like this one I got pretty good. That one's pretty good. 
but you don't want to stuff them so much that uh, you can't uh, get the bottoms up. So all these are pretty well stuffed, so. I am going to uh, go ahead and we're going to glue these bottoms up. So just put a piece or uh, a uh, string of glue right in that area, just kind of wipe it out with the end of the gun. And then just fold them up, hold them for a minute. You can also at this point, if you want, you can just uh, take these clips again. The bigger clips are better, the ones you get at Dollar Tree. See? And so that'll hold those up there. So they have a dual purpose for several different things that you can do with these ears. Yeah, having those, I'll show you the next, in the next step, it'll show you uh, what else that I use them for. Just make sure you let them dry for a, a couple seconds, and then if you do put them on, or if you have glue coming out like I do there, uh, make sure that you get the clips only on the part that doesn't have the glue. You don't want to glue the uh, clips to the uh, ears. And by the way, I also use this uh, fur from, uh, and it's yarn, so there's a lot of it there, uh, to go around the ear. So I've, I've used a lot of that. This one seems a little puffier than the other. I think I'll take just a drop of this out. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, otherwise, I'm, otherwise, so if you feel like it's too much, you can kind of feel as you're doing this. If you feel it's too much, take a little bit out because you do want to get these up at the bottom. Now if you do have any little points like this, you can either take this and uh, use it in the back, make sure it gets in the back so you don't it is going to be covered though with the fur anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. I'm going to get this off of here if I can find the end. Definitely doesn't stay on there too good, but I kept it so I wouldn't forget what I was using. And I also have, uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, it's just a little template that we made uh, of the yeah, of where kind of the placement of the ears. So I think I usually put them about two and a half inch up from the edge. But I will measure a little bit on that and then I use my tape measure too. But you can use a ruler or a bendable ruler or whatever you have. Okay, now our next step is going to take a little bit more glue. Now, um, don't glue all the way at the bottom because we are going to stuff this into the bottom. So when you glue, glue from about here on and then around the edges there and decide which two you're going to put together. So make sure you match the bottoms because that's the most important part. We're going to cover the top so if there's any weird things at the top we'll be okay. because that's all going to get covered anyways. But at the bottom, you want them to go on the ears. Good, so see which goes the best. These seem a little puffier, so I think these two.
So just go ahead and squeeze the glue on there. Like I said, try not to get too much at the bottom. But you do want to get a good amount on there. I don't put it too much on the uh, fabric part at this point. I go ahead and get this together and then I go into the into this part. After I do that, and then that's where these clips come in. So shove it together, both sides. And then come up around the top. You can even use five clips if you want. Sometimes I put one right at the top too. I have extra clips, so I'm going to do that. And then you have this, and just set that aside. And I got glue on this one, I'm not paying attention here. Take your hot glue gun across that and then I'll use this again to get that off. I also have a little gun so I'll probably just get that off. So I'm finishing up the second one and you don't need to get a lot of glue in there because it's going to, you know, you're going to glue it again anyways and when you put the fox fur in it, fox fur. So you just want to let these dry. Quickly I'll tell you about this as a, a heat gun and I learned that on one of the, uh, somebody had it on one of the YouTube uh, channels for getting glue off and uh, it works really great to, uh, if, you, if you glue something and you don't get it together, uh, get it together just right and you want to take it off just use the heat gun. The only thing is that the heat gun does, for some reason, tend to melt this uh, craft fur. So make sure your fabric, uh, if you're using fabric, that uh, it doesn't uh, melt it. It works really great if you uh, make uh, those uh, big giant flowers and stuff. It works really good for, for taking it apart if you don't get the flowers just right. Okay, this is the one we did first. So what we're going to do next, I'm taking these off. And then don't need that stuffing. Find the end of this. Okay, so here's the fox fur. Get rid of some of the strings. Try to get rid of your strings so you don't get it all over the fur. If anybody knows how not to do strings, I've watched a lot of videos about how not to get strings, but so far none of them have worked very well. So what we're going to do is you want to start kind of putting it here because we are going to stuff it into here and that's another thing I use this for and just stuff it in there. Of course I've got glue everywhere on it now. So just take the end of the fur to start it out. And stuff it in there like that and then we're just gonna go all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me, so we're just going to measure and decide which, which is your front so that you can get the best side front. Okay, so we're gonna move this in, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut this about here. And that's about how much we'll need, so looks like this is, is the best side that I'm on. <coughs> So we'll just take the glue gun and just a little bit and then just take that fur and just put it right along that line. See, and it covers everything up. I don't really need these. You don't usually burn yourself on this part, so. Make sure you don't pack it in there so you, you want the fur to stick up so it looks like Evie's furry. 
just to the bottom and then you're just going to tuck the other in. So just leave it out for the moment, let it all dry. I'm just going to put a clip around it, let it dry. And by that time your other one will be good and dry. I do have some glue that doesn't belong here that I have out that's going to make that. I'm just going to cut that off, but not with my good scissors. Other scissors again. Here's an older one. You can just cut that glue off that for some reason is sticking up there. There we go. Okay, then we're just going to do the same thing. Find the end. And go ahead and tuck that in. Just measure it around, decide which is going to be your front. Uh, did get that glue on there, so I probably should use this part as the front. Hmm. So just go ahead and same thing there. Okay, now we want to, that this is dry, we want to go ahead and stuff that other one in there. And you want to get it in there as well as you can, so go back and do the other side too, so you only have a little bit because you do want to, you want that inside there, and you want to have a, you want to have your edge like this still there. And you do want to kind of leave that a little bit fat because then it fits on the ears better. thing on this one. I might have gotten the glue on this one a little bit in there. Still going to get this one. I guess that is all the way there. Okay. Okay. So let's get our form here <clears throat> and get your clips and stuff out of the way for the moment. Uh, so you just, you want these clips and you just want two clips, these clips. And so I'm going to, this is my back, here's the front. So I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to see which way I like the Mickey ears and don't glue anything on your form because it's cardboard and it'll stick. So we're talking about around this. So then I just put my where my bottom of my ears go, that's where I put those clips. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I go ahead and just take the tape measure or your um, ruler and I measure, and yes, it's about two and a half inches, and just to make sure they're both the same. Both of them are two and a half inches. Okay, now I wanna get rid of this. And we're going to glue the ears on to where we uh, have our clip. And the ears should be glued uh, so they kind of come forward. So just take the bottom of the ear, get rid of globs of glue. So I'm gonna get this fur out of the way a little bit. Yeah, try to get that fur out as much as you can. Okay, and we're gonna do this one on this side. So, so just start doing some glue in there. You need a lot, but you don't want it to ooze out. You want it to stay so you can't really see it. But in case you do have a problem and um, you do get it on, I'll show you how you can just cover it up if you get glue, glue on the coming seeping out. 
So just hold that down and it's gonna take a couple of seconds to hold it on. You wanna make sure that that's on good, so don't, don't uh, skimp on this. You can remove your clip. should be good and then we'll do the other one I said make sure your all your fur is right to the end as much as you can get it there whatever it takes <laughs> get it to the end thing on this side just hold it there and then you can come back in if you see that you that it's not on there all the way you can just come back in a little bit and put a little bit more into there that's just what I'm going to do right here And just hold that on there a little bit on the other side too it's going to take a little bit more i usually don't cover the headband so um it sticks real well to the other i don't know it seems like it's stuck real well because i have made several of these ev ones to go with the ev outfits uh, for my etsy shop so. and i do sell those pretty quick those etsy or those ev outfits I've sold uh, three of them in the last six weeks. So this is this is the last one. I don't have any more fabric, so I think I may just, um, if people want them, then I, they, I can put them on there and I can make them when they want them and just make them to order and that way I can get the waist size exactly what they need to. Although if you're using the elastic like I do on these uh, circle skirts, uh, it, uh, it fits several waist sizes. Okay, so there we go with the ears so far. And it should be nice and comfy. The um, band is just a little big, but not too, not too bad. It's not too bad. I mean, the cover for that thing is not too bad. So now if you wanna go another step, then take your fur and again, find the beginning not it either. Where are you Mr. Beginning? There we go. Okay, so if you decide to put anything around here to cover this, which I am going to do, you always want to start from the inside and bring it around. Like this. So you're just going to do the same thing. You're just going to take your glue gun and run some glue around there and then just go ahead and put your uh, fur right around there and that will also help extra to uh, to get the, uh, to help keep the ears on. Ooh, didn't seem like it was coming out very well. And do not stick your hand in the glue because it is hot. So there's the back, front. I just think this uh, is cute and for seven dollars you guys like I said we're getting a lot of this uh, fur and like I said I will look at it and uh, it will be um... okay for the bowl you will need a piece of whatever you are going to use for the bowl uh, approximately ten and a half long and uh, approximately eight to eight and a quarter wide and I do a minimum of gluing so I just put a little dot here and a little dot here and I did turn that over 
and uh, then you'll need a rubber band. Uh, that's how I keep the middle together. And uh, just fold the two ends together. The bow doesn't need to be particularly uh, large. If you like large bows and that's what you want, then that's fine. So I'm just going to uh, put just a drop of glue here, across there, and put your edges so that um, you have none of them sticking over the other side. You don't want to get too much glue in there because then it's hard to, uh, it makes a glob. Okay, then you just want to pinch it in the middle, pinch, pinch it good, and then just so it's like this, and the back is like that, and then take your rubber band, pinch the whole thing together, try to get to as close to the middle as you can, and put your rubber band over, and get it in there as close to the middle as you can, and there's your bow. Okay, then I take, I take this piece and I just kind of wad it up a little bit and I just use that and that's what I tie it with and then I just tie it in the back and we'll make a cute little like bowish looking in the back so that your back is, um, you know, covered and then you can just cut where you want. So make sure your front looks good. Make sure that's in the middle. Check your bow, make sure everything's in the middle. That it looks good that way. And then uh, double tie it, double knot it. See, and then you've just got that cute little knot in the back. And then just trim that off. This doesn't really ravel that end, I don't believe, but you can burn the edges if you want. And then your last thing is you're going to put your bow you're just going to glue your bow right into the middle. So you want to glue the bottom part, this part, this part here. So you want to put a little bit of glue on that. And then get that right in the middle. Don't let it fall off like I just did. And then not be able to find your glue side. So just in the middle like that. And then you could put a trinket in if you want. I don't really have any Eevees or uh, you could make a little Pokeball or, you know, something like that and put that in the middle. So that's the Eevee ears. So if you like this video, please subscribe, give me a like, share it with your friends, and keep yourself safe.